Hey everybody, it's Ben here from 300mpg.org and today we're going to dismantle this gearbox, this transmission, transaxle, gear reduction, whatever you want to call it, uh, from a 2013 Nissan Leaf. So I think what we'll do now is we're just going to kind of spin it around, stand it up. Um, I'm not really much of a transmission guy, but uh, you know, I can take things apart, learn how they work. And it looks like most of the bolts holding this together are around this side. So so this is right where the electric motor would have been. The shaft of the electric motor would have gone right in here, goes through some gears, and then the power is split with the differential, comes out these two holes here. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over, because basically all the bolts are on the back of this thing. So we'll get in here, uh, use the 12 millimeter wrench, pull all these bolts out. Just pull that vent tube off there. This little cover here is not coming off. So I think I'm going to tap and pry it. I don't think anything's holding it on except a little bit of corrosion here. I know, it's got some surface corrosion on it. I wonder if that's what's kind of holding this together here. Yeah, definitely some corrosion under that cap. Looks like there's an O-ring, but it's kind of all yucked up. I do not know offhand exactly what this part is, but it appears to be two little carbon brushes that uh, connect rubs right against the shaft. And it kind of popped away right away because uh, typically brushes are spring-loaded. So right in here, we've got those cute little tiny brushes. Okay. And that is loose. Now, as far as I can tell, all of the bolts have been pulled out, but it looks like there's a gasketed seal all the way around. So here's a spot where this little corner is on both halves of these castings. Looks like a good of a place as any as a pry point. Now I don't know if it's going to be necessary or not, but on the top we've got uh, this black device right here, uh, which is essentially the electronic parking brake. Uh, it connects down into here. I don't know if I need to disconnect that or not. It looks like it's just on this half of the casing, but maybe it's holding things together, maybe not. Hard to tell at this point. Maybe if I just pull it off, it'll at least be out of the way. Oh sure, now more oil comes out. Okay, let's see if this pulls straight out or not. And it does. But it's just a shaft sticking straight down here, so it doesn't look like that's really an issue. And since this is upright, maybe this will be a little easier to pry this direction. Again, if I can just find a nice prying location. Oh, there we go. Now, I'm not sure which side I should put down. Um, I am going to assume that since on this side I had to pull that clip, that this will just come up this way. So I think, now remember, over here, this is the side where the electric motor went in. Let's just try standing this up and see if we can pull it straight up. 
And there we have it. So right here is where the electric motor comes in, but from the back side of what you're looking at, this would be the support bearing that just holds this end of the shaft. And we've got relatively high gearing from our input through the reduction and then to the differential and out to the, the pair of wheels. Ooh, this wobbles around without the rest of the case in there. Neat, very cool stuff, very interesting. This is the little part that engages the parking brake. So this engages on these cogs and locks it when the car is in park. And this is the parking brake mechanism. It goes to that shaft, which goes up there to that black device that I pulled off. Very simple gear reduction. Single speed gear reduction and a differential, that's it. So over here are the parking brake mechanism. Uh, these two divots are for the other ends of these two shafts. It's the one side of the differential. And then of course, through here is the other side for the two drive shafts for the front wheels of the Nissan Leaf. So here's the other thing I'm interested in is I need to have the splines that the electric motor goes into and one way to get them would be to pull the shaft out and as far as I can tell there's there's nothing holding this in anymore. So I think if I just kind of lift and wiggle I think this thing should pretty much just slide right out. There we go. our input shaft from the Nissan Leaf gearbox. So now what I want to know is this should just slide right on there. There is an O-ring down at the far end here. Slide it on. Pops over the O-ring. Well, fits like it was designed for it because it was. Boy, that looks great. So maybe if I have, um, let's say I wanted to use this with a flywheel, um, looks like it'd be the right spacing out. Um, we've got a bearing, we could actually support this. Looks pretty good. Uh, one thing that might be an issue is I did notice looking down inside here, uh, pretty much this entire shaft is hollow. So I don't think that that gives me a ton of room to work with uh, in terms of drilling into the side, that sort of thing. But boy, it just pops right on there. We got bearings, really neat piece of machinery. And we can kind of see and feel that permanent magnet cogging where it sort of snaps into place where the permanent magnets are. What I really like about these projects is just the learning aspect of it. Uh, just that I get to try something new, I have fun learning about it, and then that I get to share it with you. Uh, on this transmission, it was really pretty cool just to crack this open, see how everything works on the inside. I hope you like these types of videos too. I am on Patreon and would absolutely love your support there. Please come on over, visit 300mpg.org. Also, as always, make sure you check the description of the video with uh, links and more information in there. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends. And until next time, stay charged up.